imam of a masjid, you will be asked many questions. And some of the questions when they're asked, your heart, your heart feels so much pain. And I'll tell you what sort of questions people get asked, the mashaykh sometimes, the imams of the masajid. When someone commits zina, imagine a young sister, a Muslim sister, a young brother who's a Muslim. Imagine when they commit zina, what happens? When zina is committed, there's a chance, high chance, that pregnancy, pregnancy might take place. The girl might become pregnant with a baby. And just imagine a young Muslim, a young girl called Aisha, Fatima, Rahma, Halima, from a respectable family. Because she got somewhere, she went near Zina, and she committed Zina with someone else, with a boy whose name maybe is Muhammad, his name maybe is Ali, his name maybe is Ahmed, his name maybe is Abdul Rahman, his name is maybe Ab Abdul. Abdullah, the zina happened. Now she's pregnant. She found out she's pregnant. And then look what happens when we say the Quran is our light. Because if you are not following the Quran, you are someone who's walking in the dark, just like the dark room. And exactly, you will just stumble over things. And among the things that you might stumble over is like zina. And look what's going to happen when you fall into zina. Now the girl's pregnant. The first thing that will come to her mind. And the first thing that will come to the mind of the brother. We don't want to be caught here, you know. What are we going to do? We need to get rid of the baby. We need to get rid of that little baby inside. What are we going to do? Go to the doctor. And the doctor is just going to say, We'll do it. We'll sort it out for you. Your parents will never find out. Who knows about it? Who knows about it? Allah. That baby is out, dead. Who's responsible? You have killed an innocent life right now. And if you killed an innocent life, it is as if you have killed all of humanity. That young girl and that young brother who did it together, right now they are absolutely in serious, serious, serious territory. They're in a serious place right now. You're still young, you committed zina, and you've killed innocent life. And you're still 17. What are you going to do with the rest of your life? That is when shaitan is going to come to your head and play with your head. And say to you, what's the point of deen and this and that? Khalas, you've done it. It's finished. There's no way that you can come back to Allah. Finished. That's what shaitan is going to say to you. And the young girls and young brothers might go just, they might be lost forever. Finished. The Quran is light. The Quran, that's why the Quran is saying to you, Wala taqrabu zina. Don't go anywhere near zina. Because zina is fahisha, it's serious, it's a bad thing, it's filth. Because it could lead you to kill a human life. A human being, the life of it, you might take the life of a human being. SubhanAllah, that's how dangerous it is. Young brothers and young sisters, don't mess up with this, don't mess about with this. Don't say to the sisters, can you send me like your latest picture? Let me see the latest picture. How look you? How good you look when you when you wear a certain clothing? I want to see it. And then what will Shaitan do after a short period? You will just make you more excited, more excited. The girl will get ex more excited. The brother's gonna get more excited. And what's gonna happen? The zina at the end. And when zina happens, khalas is finished. It's finished. Therefore. The Quran tells you, stay away from zina.